So my second most binge-worthy true crime podcast that you need to get on now is called Hide and Seek, which I talk about in other um, posts. But this one specifically is Hide and Seek Season 2, okay? It's put out um, by James Basinger, an amazing host, deep dives into the case of Logan Schindelman, okay? This one drives me crazy. This case, again, should be solved. There is no way that a 19-year-old young man can vanish off the face of the earth. And now this didn't happen in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s. This happened. He went missing in May 2016. Now tell me how in modern times with the number of surveillance cameras, ring doorbells, people videotaping everything, a young man can go just gone. It can't happen. So the last time he was seen, but not seen, but something odd happened was he drove a Sebring, Chrysler Sebring, and it was parked on the side of a highway. And motorists say that suddenly they're driving along, they see somebody jump out of the car and run into the woods, and then the car starts drifting across the highway. Obviously, it wasn't in park. And that was it. That was it. The end. No, no more to the story after that. Except the guy who got out the description of him and what it what he looked like was nothing like Logan. They don't believe it was Logan. So then what happened to Logan? Where did he go? And why has no one seen from him or heard from him since? Okay, he was low risk. Anyone who knows about victimology and follows true crime and all of that stuff knows there's high risk people and there's low risk people. And he was super low risk. Like he wasn't a troublemaker. He wasn't involved in gangs and drugs and all that kind of stuff. So this one's going to drive you crazy, I promise you, but listen anyway. Hide and Seek, Season 2, The Logan Schindelman Case.